Once the CDC restrictions were lifted in June, everything went crazy. And the frenzy isn't slowing down. The port is bringing in 20 million more in revenue than they predicted. We're halfway through this year. We're well ahead of where we started. It's time to adjust it and make sure we finish the year closer to uh, what we report to our board. The new terminal won't open for a few more years, but talks are happening now because it will change the layout of the port. We have multiple locations here that could meet the requirement for a new terminal, but we don't want to highlight any of them because uh, given our current configuration, somebody's going to be impacted. Another priority, creating more parking. Cruise passengers say it's needed. When we go on the Ocean Obsession, we do have parking concerns because we have to park way out and that we have to drop everything off, park way over, and then walk back. The board says they don't want to miss opportunities to seize the spike in business, increasing the budget now to pave the way for more growth in the future. We're an economic engine for Canaveral, and, you know, increasing our business like this is making more jobs in Central Florida. And with this budget change, the port is also spending about three million more dollars. But the CEO says that comes with growth and they are not wanting to take on much more debt with this expansion. We're here at Port Canaveral, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.